St. Anne's Church in Fall River was saved from the wrecking ball, but there's a long way to go to restore it to its luster. Help came recently from an unexpected and tasty source. I would news reporter Walt Buto in Fall River with tonight's street story. We get a, a bun, a hamburger bun. Much like this Fall River original, the chow mein sandwich. So we place it on top. The story is a unique recipe of cuisine. And this is the finished product. And caring. John Govin is vice president of the St. Anne's Shrine Preservation Society. This is where we're getting a lot of water oh, in. Wow. The leaky 100-year-old roof has allowed water to stream in at times, crumbling paintings and walls. The damage has sent plaster to the floor near the shuttered main part of the church. Open 8 a.m. to 6. Downstairs in the shrine, which remains open for worshipers and twice a year masses, the damage is creeping far too close to the final resting place of three of the church's historic pastors. It's right here. It's sort of threatened. Yeah, oh, absolutely. The Preservation Society, now leasing the church from the Fall River Diocese for a dollar a year for the next decade, is raising money to hopefully repair everything from the stained glass windows to the enormous pipe organ to the leaky roof and the plaster. Miracles are among the memories for parishioners like Govan, who recalls a friend asking a priest for help with polio during a healing mass in the 60s. And he said, all I want is one good leg. He's in his 70s today, and he has one fully developed leg and one leg that is not developed at all. It's a sacred place. In the same neighborhood, Misum's owner has chopped so many onions over the past 50 years, he can do it blindfolded. It was a natural for the restaurant to donate a day of chow mein sandwich sales to help preserve the church that is so important to their customers and family. A lady chow mein sandwich? What they did not expect were lines at the door, 1,500 sold sandwiches, and a $10,000 donation to help save the church. You couldn't believe how many people come in here. They say, thank you, thank you to doing this. They say, that's my church. And then we said, wow. I hope with this, more people chip in. And part of the Fall River skyline for how much longer? 500 years. <laughs> There's no price tag on what it might cost to rehab the church, but parishioners will tell you the results will be priceless. More details on WPRI.com. In Fall River, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.